Hey y'all, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back again, I'm back. So listen, question, do y'all let people cook for you? Like when you're dating, you let a man cook for you, ladies or fellas, you let a woman cook for you? I know it sounds like a dumb question because, you know, most women would be like, of course the dude is going to let a woman cook for him. But no. Some dudes are funny about that. Some dudes don't trust bitches <laughs> to cook for them. They're like, especially, and then they'll give you some rules. Don't cook me nothing with red, red sauce. They got this thing where they think we're going to put our menstrual in their food to try to, you know, whoop them or control them or whatever. <laughs> that used to be a thing. I did. You meet a guy, he'd be like, what you going to cook? But I don't let a guy cook for me. I don't really let people cook for me because I'm a picky eater and I'm a bougie eater. And to me, the low grade of food that most people would be cooking, I don't want to eat it. (laughs) It's like, what? We're having chicken wings and cheese board? You can't think of nothing else? Like, damn. So basically, you're just going to go to Publix and pick up some trays. Like, can we be a little bit more creative with the menu? Well, seriously, I get tired of that kind of food when you go somewhere. It's like, oh, God dang. I'm not going to be able to eat anything but the broccoli. And a couple of carrots and tomatoes. I'm not going to be able to eat the little small container of circular ranch. That's in the tray. And they, nobody, they almost never put out another bottle of dressing just in case somebody doesn't want to dip their vegetables in the nasty ass, delicious ranch dressing. Like, I don't eat that anymore because I'm allergic to dairy. Well, no. Um,. Hidden Valley just came out with a vegan ranch. I mean, I have to doctor it up. See, I told you, I can't ever take anything straight. I had to fuck with it. So, I, whenever I pour my ranch dressing, I put a little bit of garlic salt in it and nutritional yeast. And it's definitely more ranchy. So, so if they, if they, if they change their recipe and they start putting nutritional yeast in their ranch dressing y'all know they stole that from my podcast and i deserve a million dollars that's all i'm asking for it's a million dollars they're gonna make so much money off of that ranch i promise you hidden valley ranch has a vegan ranch y'all that's like that was like my christmas gift this year to myself like yes Merry Christmas to me. I finally get to eat a salad with gobs of ranch dressing on it like I used to. You know? I just want to look like I'm eating like everyone else. I just don't want to eat like everyone else. But, yeah. I am kind of a bougie eater. I don't really, you know, like fast food. You know, a lot of people actually like to eat junk. They're like, yeah, no, I don't want vegetables. Ew, gross. I want McDonald's. And I'm the opposite. I'm like, ew, gross. McDonald's? I want some vegetables. Like, and the rawer, the better. Oh, man. I'm really good with the veggies, too. Even, I know you're like, ew, raw vegetables. They're just so boring. No, not the way I do them. Like, I do, like, this chili, lime, and, like, coconut oil with a little olive oil. Like, these Brussels sprouts. I love to do Brussels sprouts like this. I chop up onions and lime juice, and we do do chili seasoning and um, uh, smoked paprika. And what else did I... And just basically, with the oils, I think coconut oil, right, and olive oil. A little bit of both. And you toss it all up it together, and you just let it marinate 
overnight. And when I tell you, that is a really delicious raw salad. I got a lot of recipes. I mean, really good raw and vegan recipes that you really won't know that it's vegan. Yeah, I've had a lot of practice. (laughs) All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.